We're here with our partners um, at Garden Studios and we're doing a high-speed camera test on a virtual production volume. The aim is to capture high frame rate footage with the LED wall in the background. Um, that has a few technical challenges, being that the wall needs to keep up with the frame rate that we're capturing it. When we're shooting high frame rate, the camera's shooting two, four, six, eight hundred frames a second. And we need to make sure um, that the LED is able to keep up with that and be in sync. If you don't get that, you, you'll have a flicker on the screen. You don't make sure that you've got um, the whole workflow set up correctly. Unreal can get up to those sort of frame rates, but you're really limited by what you can show with that. You start hitting your sort of upper limit quite fast, um, which has sort of forced us to figure out some other methods of getting that sort of frame rate on the wall. We needed to know the camera position pre-plan the camera's position. Liam at Garden Studios was able to plan those camera movements in Unreal Engine, taking the camera data, put it all into Unreal Engine, plan those movements so everything matches up perfectly. This is why we have Mark Roberts Motion Control. So what they did is they brought in the Bolt X. So using the Bolt X, which is a high speed cine robot arm, um, it's good for shooting high speed. We were shooting kind of a minimum 200 frames with the screen today, uh, hoping to maybe get up to 400 to 600 frames if we can. When you're using motion control, you can take the tracking data from the move in Unreal. They send it over to us. We import it into Maya, we solve it so that it will work on our rigs. And then when the two are in sync, you'll have the camera tracking the screen in real time alongside it. Um, and it just accounts for a repeatability as well. So rather than having to reset every time and maybe not get it accurate, this will be frame accurate every single time you run it. So if your move is 200 frames, ours is 200 frames, every single frame will be working perfectly in sync together. So one of the key bits of information that um, Anna Valley needed was what lenses we were shooting on, the size of the sensor, the focal length, to put all the information into Unreal Engine to then give to Mr. Moco so it would all hopefully work seamlessly when we arrived on set. Normally, there would be a little bit of wiggle room regarding lens sizes, um, distance, movement. Whereas here, if we wanted to tweak the move, you'd have to go back into Unreal Engine and change the whole move so it worked with the camera. Everything in our virtual production workflow needs to have sync. So we have two outputs, um, each with a single display outputting, and they need to be in sync with one another. Um, and they're outputting their content at the same time. We've then got to have the LED screen in, uh, in sync as well. So that's displaying the content at the right time. And then the camera also needs to have sync. So that is taking its frames at the right time. So everything is displaying and capturing its frames all in sync. And doing that at a high frame rate is a bit of a challenge. At a high frame rate, you need a lot more light. So one concern of mine was how bright can the VP wall actually go? Are we going to struggle with getting the amount of light off the screen that we would need to shoot at a high frame rate? But we're actually in a really good place with the brightness of the screen. There wasn't much more light I needed to put onto it. There was a little bit of fill either side, but I was pleasantly surprised by how bright the screen actually is for high speed. Uh, it's always good to prep. Uh, the more prep you do, the easier it gets, right? We've never really shot um, kind of high frame rates. 200 frames on a virtual production screen before, but it's certainly interesting. Through this collaboration with all the partners, obviously Anna Valley Garden Studios, uh, Mr. Moco and the Creative Camera Company, we've managed to get some really nice looking shots at a high frame rate on a virtual production stage. Final shot that we did yesterday was just a, a basic pouring shot of a clear liquid going into a glass. And that was shot at 400 frames. So normally, you'd have to shoot that on either green screen or on location. But you couldn't really shoot the clear liquid against the green screen because you are gonna see the green through the clear liquid. So the whole point of this test we're doing today is to show that we can actually shoot high frame rate on a VP stage with no flicker. And then doing that, you can see the refractions in the, the clear liquid, which actually looks like we're at the beach high speed and VP does work. I was blown away really.